This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Process of digestion. Now let's take a look at the process of digestion in a little detail. Digestion involves the breakdown of food into smaller molecules that can be absorbed into the blood and transported around the body. Digestion is important because your cells require the nutrients in food, including proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, water, and minerals, to function. These nutrients can be made available for our cells by breaking down the food. So how does it work? Well, food first enters the body via the mouth. This is called ingestion. The food is chewed up by our teeth and mixed with saliva secreted from the salivary glands. The saliva contains some digestive enzymes, which help in the first stages of breaking down food. From the mouth, the food passes down the esophagus, where it eventually reaches the stomach. The stomach also contains digestive enzymes to continue the breakdown of the components in the digested food. The process of using enzymes to break down food is called digestion. The digested products from the stomach are passed to the small intestine, where many small molecules are absorbed into the bloodstream. This process is known as absorption. The undigested food in the small intestine moves to the large intestine. Here water is absorbed and the undigested food is excreted as feces via the rectum and the anus. This process of excretion is known as egestion. Why don't you try our free course in A or app, now available on the App Store, and start using for free, or go to our website, hollow12.com. Villi. The small intestine is the part of our digestive system where the process of digestion ends. It is also the site of absorption of all the essential nutrients. The wall of the small intestine contains numerous finger-like projections. These projections are known as villi, and they increase the surface area of the small intestine, which is needed to increase the absorption of food molecules. The villi contain a rich network of blood capillaries. The digested food molecules move from the small intestine into these capillaries. Gut flora. There are millions of beneficial bacteria in our gut but most of them are found in the large intestine. These bacteria are called gut flora. They help with food digestion and protect our bodies from harmful bacteria that may have entered our bodies. They do that by competing with the invading harmful bacteria for food and space. If they are present in big numbers, they consume a large amount of the nutrients in the gut, leaving very little or nothing for the invading bacteria. This causes the death of the invading bacteria. The flora gets nutrients from the gut and in return, our body is receiving protection against pathogens. This is called a mutualistic relationship. Digestive enzymes. We have mentioned the word digestive enzyme many times in this module. Let's discuss them in detail. Enzymes are important molecules in the digestion of food. They are essential for the breakdown of large molecules in food into smaller ones that can be absorbed and used by the cells as part of normal metabolism. Remember, enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up chemical reactions inside cells. They do this by lowering or reducing the activation energy required for the reaction to take place. Enzymes require an optimum pH and temperature to work. Outside of an acceptable range, the structure of the protein becomes distorted and can even become denatured, meaning they do not work. Enzymes are proteins, and their shape is extremely important for their function. This is because the reaction takes place in a region called the active site. The active site has to have a highly specific shape to bind its target molecule, the substrate, and facilitate the reaction.
A simple model for how enzymes work is the lock and key theory. It describes how the specific active site of the enzyme, the lock, only fits with one substrate, the key. When they bind, they form a complex, and the reaction can proceed. After the reaction, the products of the reaction are released from the enzyme active site. Enzymes are proteins that act as biological catalysts and speed up the chemical reactions in the body without being used up. Each enzyme has a specific region called an active site in which a molecule called a substrate binds to it, forming an enzyme substrate complex. Enzymes are very specific, meaning that only one specific substrate can bind to a specific active site. This is called the lock and key model. Examples of enzymes found in our digestive system are Carbohydrates are enzymes that convert carbohydrates into simple sugars. Amylase is an example of a carbohydrate. It breaks down starch into maltose. Amylase is mostly found in the saliva and is produced by the salivary glands, pancreas, and the small intestine. Proteases are enzymes that act on proteins and break them into amino acids. These enzymes are produced in the stomach, the pancreas and the small intestine. Pepsin is produced in the stomach and therefore, it works very well in acidic conditions. Pepsin, therefore, has to work in the highly acidic environment of the stomach. Finally, lipases act on the lipids and break them into glycerol and fatty acids. They are produced in the pancreas and stomach. Enzymes work in very specific conditions such as a specific pH and temperature. If these conditions are disturbed, the enzymes will become damaged. We say that the enzymes have become denatured. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.